have John told me he asked you if you knew where we were ranked in funding in the nation, and all of you know you could raise your hand and say we're ranked 49th in funding. Um, and all of you, I'm sure, know that since the recession hit, you've got a deficit factor of roughly 22.5%, so you're getting about 77.5 cents on the dollar in terms of what we owe you. So if you think of all the stress that's been put on districts financially, in addition to that, we're continuing to ask you to do more with less. You know, we're, we're looking at um, tremendous changes from the Common Core standards, which I think are moving us in the right direction. I think the English language art um, standards in terms of their new emphasis on being able to read nonfiction, because we know our students need to be able to read math and science and history books as fluently as they can read novels. It's, we know that's critically important. Between the, and the, uh, in, in mathematics, where the, the new standards uh, call for a much uh, deeper knowledge of the concepts and understanding versus just rote memorization. We all know that's moving us in the right direction, but we're asking you to implement that without any, any resources, without any resources for training for teachers or for instructional materials. And that's a challenge because we also know that we spent 1.3 billion per subject area implementing standards the first time. And that was, you know, 1997-98, you know, well over a decade ago. We're asking you to gear up for the smarter balance test, but we're not giving you any money for new computers or for bandwidth, and that's going to be a huge challenge. And then we're talking about changing fundamentally the formulas for which that we use to fund our schools. And so, um, you know, we're undergoing some very um, big issues in the legislature right now. And the only thing I will tell you, having served on school board for as long as I did, is I believe very strongly, and that's why we put the governor's 500-page uh, trailer bill language into a policy bill with my name on it to get the discussion to policy committee, is I believe very, very deeply that it's important that we get it right. You don't just change to change, you change <laughs> in a thoughtful way that's good for all kids in the state of California. And I say, say that, um, I think, I, I, I hope all of us agree on this, recognizing that we all agree that local control is better. So we all support that aspect of, of what the governor wants to accomplish. I think we all agree that we have both a moral and an economic imperative to make sure every child learns. And those children who live in poverty, who are English language learners, who are in foster care, need more time and support in order to be successful. And we want them to be successful. So, so I agree with his goals, but how we get there is critically important. And, and that's why we've moved the bill to policy committee. So I'm going to end my comments there. Those of you who know me know I could go on for an hour <laughs> ranting about public education. But I do want to spend more time answering your questions um, than, than speaking myself. So I'll turn it over to somebody.